how's it going? Master Bucks here and welcome. Before we even get into the crux of today's video, there's one thing I really quickly need to talk about. Call it the, the elephant in the room, if you will. I am fully aware right now that I have got a gigantic spot on my nose, like Mars Bloody Jr. growing right here on my face. There is literally nothing I can do about it. I was this close to fucking putting on just a mask for this entirety of the video. But then the audio quality sounds like fucking shit. That is why I am going to trust in you guys for this one. We've been through a lot together, okay? Can we please? I'm trusting you guys. If you have any respect for me or my feelings, please. Let's just forget it doesn't, just don't even forget about my nose. My nose, I don't have a nose, okay? It doesn't exist. Anyway, enough of that, ladies and gentlemen. How about we actually get into the video? Jadon Sancho is a Manchester United man at last. Feels like for the last two and a half seasons, maybe, that Jadon Sancho has been linked with United. And finally now, here we bloody go. Fabrizio Romano can finally fire off that one tweet and get 50k retweets. It's finally happening. England's apparently seventh choice winger, according to Gareth Southgate, has finally landed at the Red Devils. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm loading up a career mode with Manchester United, and we have signed Jadon Sancho, and we have actually simulated ahead to the following season, to 2021-2022. We have advanced forward a little bit in career mode, so some players like, you know, Fernandez has gone up and overall, and Martial is, um... Arguably still in the 80s. But yeah, Sancho's at an 89. Uh, Rashford at an 89 is pretty wild as well. But uh, bloody Pogba could get an upgrade. But you know, either way, regardless. We've got Jadon Sancho here in a Manchester United shirt. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see how, according to FIFA 21, Jadon Sancho is going to get on at Manchester United. And how Manchester United themselves are going to get on with this man as well. So as I mentioned, we are in the year 2021. We've simulated ahead to get to the season to the point that Sancho joins United. I'm going to be simulating a whole season with this Manchester United team and not just Sancho we brought in to this team either. Currently Varane is in the mix to potentially be signed by Manchester United and it's looking more likely to happen than not. So I just said bugger it and I've included Varane in this simulation as well. With them in this team United looks pretty damn good. If Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is able to put all these pieces together you've got two great fullbacks two great center mids. You've got some pretty decent wingers in Rashford and Sancho. You've got Fernandez. If you can get Pogba involved in some way and get him playing like he does for France. Maybe Martial or, I don't know, Cavani continues to do bits for the season. You've got a potential Premier League winning team right there. But will they do it? I'm going to simulate to the end of this season and we're going to see how the first season goes for both Manchester United and for Jadon Sancho himself. Do you think he's going to be a success or a flop for Manchester United? I don't know. He's coming in with a lot of expectations. Poor guy can't get a run for England, but how do you think he'll go at United? Well, people, at the end of the first season with Jadon Sancho at Manchester United, we had an unbelievable three-way race for the Premier League title, which United sadly finished third in, Liverpool in second, and Manchester City on top, winning it on the final day with only one loss throughout the whole damn season. I'd happily take that. Manchester City and Liverpool also went to the FA Cup final. City won that as well. And in the Carabao Cup, Liverpool got the better of Man City to stop them winning the domestic treble. So... Holy crap, these two had a battle. We were there as well, but not really anywhere else apart from in the Premier League race. But wait a minute. Oh, what? What's this? What's this? Oh, Manchester City and Liverpool dominating in England. Oh, what's this? Manchester United make the Champions League final to take on Inter Milan. Can you believe it? Sancho and co have been able to get to the final and well... Let's see how they go against Inter. I think it's actually definitely possible that we could see Inter Milan in the Champions League final next season as well. They're a great team, obviously. Serie A champions. They've sold Hakimi and a few others, but I mean, they could still do it. And I wonder how Sancho's going to get on in this game in a Champions League final for United in the first season he signs for them. Will he score? Will he be involved at all? Martial's doing bits. The He was doing bits right up until the point he decided to give the ball away. Oh, no. Oh, and I thought Inter was going to break and score. God, imagine this. And imagine Lukaku against his old team scoring the winner. Oh, not good. Not good. Inter Milan have taken the lead here. Laturo Martinez. Oh, dear. Not the start that you wanted here, Manchester United. And Sancho. Oh, my God. No wonder he's not involved in the game. They can't pass it to him. And halftime. All right. So far, Inter still leading. And this is a bit oof. Not great. I'm just going to let this go too, man. So if United can't get it done, they're not getting any help from me. 
Cross it in. Sancho was there. Oh, come on. Still not able to get involved. Look at his match rating. He's got a 6.3. He's the worst performer in the team, at least in attack anyway. They are running out of time, Manchester United. They do not have enough time. Sancho is at the back. Just cross it in for Hope. Seriously, more than anything, it's no good. They're going to whack it away. They've still got the ball, United. Get the ball to Sancho. Come on, do something. Pass it. Get it off. Shot here. Martial. Oh, it's saved. Keepers out of position. There was an attempt. It's... Ah, oh, it's over. Inter Milan win the first Champions League final of the season, of the career mode of the sim. God damn it. What a shame. What a crying shame. They make the final, but at the end, it's no silverware at all for United in the first season with Sancho. Stat-wise, on the other hand, you've got Fernandez with a, I'm sorry, 40 goal, 12 assist season from 58 games played. That is Messi Ronaldo-like numbers. He genuinely would deserve a 92 overall if that's what he was getting. And then he's got everyone else a mile behind him. Like Rashford's on 15, Martial's on 13, and then Sancho for his season, seven goals and 10 assists from 38 games played. If you're coming to Manchester United on the money that you are being brought in for, I'm not sure if Sancho could get away with those types of numbers. I mean, Grealish has put up similar numbers and obviously everybody loves him, but uh, I, I don't know. I think I'd expect a little more from Sancho, especially for what he's been able to do at the Bundesliga with Dortmund. But sadly for United, the first season, it's probably got to be said, it's it's technically a failure, but it's a tough, tough failure. I mean, you made a Champions League final, you came really close to winning the Premier League, but sadly, you walk away with nothing. But now we move over to the next season. Let's see what Sancho and United can do in this one. For Manchester United, I want at least one piece of silverware. If it could be the Premier League or the Champions League, that would be massive. But I just want some silverware. And I want Jadon Sancho to try to get back to the numbers that he had at Dortmund. So something like... 15-ish goals and about 20-something assists on the season would be fantastic. Okay, so at the end of the second season, we're making progress. And by progress, I mean absolutely no progress. We're going backwards. We're in fourth. And we have 12 less points than we managed last season. Liverpool have won the title. Oh, United. I'm sorry, but buying Sancho it doesn't, seem to, it doesn't seem to have fixed much. The FA Cup was won by Liverpool. Please don't tell me they also won the Carabao Cup. No, they didn't. Aston Villa won the Carabao Cup. We didn't even get to the Champions League final. Bloody Napoli won it. That's a crazy one right there. So that's two Serie A teams FIFA's predicting to win the Champions League back-to-back. -back. Manchester United actually got knocked out in the round of 16 by Napoli, the team that would go on and win it. But okay, how about stat-wise? Did he improve? Uh, Fernandez doesn't put up 40 goals a season, unfortunately. Sancho is only still getting about just under 20 goals and assists combined from about 50-odd games. This really is not, I don't know, for me, good enough. Marcus Rashford is comfortably outperforming Jadon Sancho right now. And I'm not, I don't know how to feel about this. Maybe it has a little bit to do with the fact that Rashford's 90 bloody three and Sancho is 90. Fernandez is also 93. Tell you what, career mode overalls, they just go crazy. But FIFA at the moment, not very high hopes. It's got to be said for Sancho's Manchester United career. I mean, I bloody hope that they're wrong. But I feel like it's obvious we need another season. I need one Big season from Sancho. Off we roll now for a third season. And seriously, how many? One, two, three, four 90 rated players are in this team. And everybody else is like 85 or higher. Are, are we seriously telling me? Are you seriously telling me this team can't even contest the Premier League title? Bloody surely. If it's not this season, then when? When is it ever going to happen? And Sancho, for crying out loud, mate, you've had probably about 20 goals and 20 assists in two seasons. I mean, that's just not gonna fly son come on and after season three it's more of the set we've just reverted back to season one except last time we've done slightly better still though we're coming behind manchester city second this time two points away we always go down to the final game of the bloody season and then bottle it why the team that we have just can't win the premier league or this any silverware from this stage look crystal palace won an fa cup Crazy. What a great FA Cup run that is to have that final. Finally, we see a little bit of silverware. But again, when you win the League Cup, it's just... Uh, it is of, of everything that we could win. God damn it. And obviously the Champions League we didn't make the final of. Atletico Madrid took home that one. For the second straight year, we get dumped out of the round of 16. And I tell you what, we hate playing Italian teams because Inter Milan has taken us out again. Sancho's up to a 91 overall. Rashford and Fernandez are clear. Uh, like, their overalls are nuts right now. 
And Sancho, I don't really know what to say, apart from the fact that he's just super, super consistent. I was, like, consistently getting below average numbers. He's got one goal and two assists in eight Champions League games. That, I, I don't know. I don't know if, I just don't know if I can be okay with that. Sancho's often doing his thing with about, you know, just about 20 odd goals and assists every single season. Meanwhile, Rashford is putting up like 50 goals and assists from 56 appearances. Like, these were maybe kind of sort of the numbers I was hopefully wanting to get out of Sancho, but it turns out it's not really exactly been the case here. But yeah, I, I, I don't really know what to say. I think Sancho so far in three years has got 60 goals and assists, which is not terrible, but I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more. You know what, damn it. We'll do one more season. We'll do one more season and hopefully we'll get something out of Sancho a little bit more than what we're getting and maybe even a Premier League or Champions League title. Okay, come on, look, my entire starting 11 except for somehow McTominay, like an 89 rated Scottish player is not getting an international call up. What could that be for? Oh, probably because they didn't make the World Cup or the Euro or whatever. But I swear I'm losing hope. I didn't even think I had any hope left, yet I still have the strength to simulate one last season to try to go for something here. We'll look at what trophies are won throughout this season as well, what stats Sancho gets, and at the end of it, we'll just have to do a whole summation of four or five seasons worth of football and see if Sancho was a flop or a success. Well, people, it's the end of the season and uh, what can I say? I thought that I had no hope left, but I found a little bit, a little something deep inside me to go for a fourth season. And well, it's the little bit of hope that turns things into magic because Manchester United have won the Premier League this season. It's about time. We've finally done it. 29 wins out of 38, 94 points. We are miles ahead of our second best Manchester City uh, opponents and well, oh my God, finally, that's all I can say. We even took home the FA Cup beating Spurs 3-0. What about the Carabao Cup? Oh, Newcastle, hey, that's what we're talking about. Hey. We didn't do the domestic treble, but I don't care. Up Newcastle. Champions League was won by Dortmund, so uh, we're not going to win the we're not going to win the Champions League. We made the first final in the first season, but uh, we got dumped out when. Oh, you're kidding me, of course. Shocker. Round of 16. And I swear it's always to the team that wins the bloody league, man. Or wins the bloody Champions League. Sancho is going to finish on 91 overall after about 4-5 or five years. Let's see what sort of numbers he gets in this Premier League winning season. Oh my god, are you actually kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Janon Sancho in the Premier League, finally Premier League winning season, puts up five goals and five assists. He's like you couldn't get worse, and it did. 91 overall putting up these numbers, man. I just, it does not make sense. How are you telling me that a left back has done better than Janon Sancho, man? Come on. That is about 70 goals and assists in total that I would say were played out of about 200 games. Would you consider that a success or a flop? I I don't know. I don't know. One Premier League, one FA Cup and one Carabao Cup in four years. It's it's tough to it's tough to call. I mean Manchester United's probably not good enough, but Sancho it's definitely not good enough. Ah well FIFA 21 does not feel all too optimistic about Jan on Sancho's chances, but hey, whatever. But that'll do it for me though, people. Thank you for watching again. Like I mentioned before, drop in the comments down below. Do you think Sancho is going to be a flop for United or do you think he'll live up to the hype? Personally, I think Sancho is going to do just fine at Manchester United. I'm not sure if he's going to be like a superstar or anything, but he's going to give them that quality down that right-hand side, which I think is really going to do wonders for Manchester United. Again, I think United could be an outside chance of a Premier League next season. I think just off of this one signing. But I guess we'll see. Until next time, my name is Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you later and bye-bye.